For example, honesty, honesty is the best policy. We use full stop at the end, even when we begin to write sentence, the first letter should be in capital. Honesty is the best policy. It's, a, it's a declarative sentence. We use full stop at the end of this sentence. So, declarative sentence is one example of sentence based on its purpose. And it, is, it states something, we use period or full stop at the end of the sentence. Honesty is the best policy is one example of declarative sentence. You can have any other examples. You can make different examples using declarative sentence. The other one is interrogative sentence. Do you know what interrogative sentence mean? Can you try and can you give what interrogative sentence mean for your family? Interrogative sentence. Interrogative sentence is sentence that ask a question. It ask a question. We use interrogative sentence to ask. When we ask, we use interrogative sentence. And the kind of punctuation mark we use at the end of an interrogative sentence is question mark. Do you know this mark before? This is question mark. So we use question mark at the end of an interrogative sentence. Question mark is used. At the end of an interrogative sentence, we use question mark. For example, what is the day today? What is the day today? This is an interrogative sentence. We use question mark as the end of sentence. So, an interrogative sentence is one example of sentence which is used to ask. And we use question mark. This is an example. The third one, the third type of sentence is imperative. Imperative sentence. Imperative sentence. Imperative sentence, it's a command or it's a request. It's a command. Is command or request. It's command or request. We use full stop or period. Or period is used at the end of sentence. Period is used at the end of imperative sentence. For example, open the door. Open the door. We use full stop. Open the door. This one is an imperative sentence. We use full stop at the end. And the subject of the sentence is not used here, or it's not written. The subject, subject is not, is not written. The subject of the sentence is not written. It's always understood. It's not necessary to write subject of an imperative sentence. It is it's understood. The subject of a sent, an imperative sentence is always you. You is used as subject of an imperative sentence. Open the door. Mean you open the door. Take out your book. You take out your book. Do the exercise. You do the exercise. So imperative sentence are command or request. And it's used uh, full stop or period is used at the end of an imperative sentence. The last one is exclamatory sentence. Exclamatory. Exclamatory sentence. This one, exclamatory sentence, is the last type of sentence. Exclamatory sentence is the last type of sentence based on it is purpose or function. In exclamatory sentence, we used to express our strong feeling, strong feeling. 
strong feeling to express strong feeling we use exclamatory sentence again exclamation mark is used at the end of the sentence exclamation mark is used what's a nice day for example what a nice day it is we use exclamation mark so these types of sentence is called exclamatory sentence what a nice day is it what a nice day it is we use exclamation mark at the end of exclamatory sentence so the four types of sentence based on their purpose is declarative imperative interrogative and exclamatory these are what they looks like so try to write down some examples of declarative sentence imperative sentence exclamatory sentence and imperative sentence okay let me conclude my daily lesson it's about uh, sentence so as i said to you what sentence mean sentence is a group of word which has subject and verb which is meaningful so to be a sentence the sentence should have subject and predicate or verb so without a verb or without a sentence we can't have we can't have a sentence so to have a sentence we should have subject and predicate or verb these are the basic elements of a sentence so subject and verb are the basic elements of a sentence so having subject or verb may be a, may not be just a guarantee to have a sentence our sentence should be acceptable and sensible to the speaker of the language the other points which i told for you is about types of sentence there are uh, different types of sentence based on their structure and based on their purpose according to their purpose there are four types of sentence like interrogative imperative exclamatory and interrogative and i told you to practice and to write down some examples of declarative sentence imperative sentence interrogative sentence and exclamatory sentence in your exercise book thank you for today asquala ልጆን በቤቶ የሚያስተምሩበት አማራጭ ፊልም አዳዲስ ፊልሞቻችንን እንዲደርሱ ሰብስክራይብ በማድረግ የቻናላችን ቤተሰብ ይሁን ፊልሞቹን ሼር በማድረግ ሎዳይ ዘመዶ ያጋሩ አስኳላ አማራጭ ማስተማሪያ ዘዴ